Welcome back to Wu University. I'm Dr. Stephanie Wu, and today we're going to be talking about scleral contact lenses, one of my favorite subjects, and specifically, what causes compression and impingement. So if we think of a scleral lens, the entire weight of the lens is bearing on the sclera, the white part of the eye. Now, when scleral lenses were kind of reintroduced, you know, 10 to 12 years ago, there was only a spherical back surface, meaning that it was the same shape all the way around. We didn't have any data, we didn't really have any measurements of the eye to know any difference, so we just kind of assumed that if we made a scleral lens, it was gonna be the same shape everywhere. But now with incredible technology, we are able to 3D map the eye, and then we've taken that information and there's been lots of research that shows us that the scleral shape, so the shape of the white part of the eye, is not perfectly round like we thought. It's actually toric, so there's some astigmatism and some different shapes that can be happening on the white part of the eye. A lot of patients not only have astigmatism or toricity on the white part of the eye, but a lot of times it's irregular. So you might have a very elevated part over here and a very depressed part here, and then an elevated part here. So it just depends on the patient's anatomy. But I would say with all of the scans that we have from thousands of patients, most of our patients are, are irregular as far as the amount of symmetry going around the sclera. It's actually very asymmetric. So the reason that patients are getting compression and impingement problems is most likely to this three and nine o'clock position on the eye. That's because, again, we didn't realize that scleral lenses needed to incorporate some toricity into the lens until pretty recently. And so wherever there is a more elevated spot on the sclera, it's going to press down. The most obvious observation is if you have a patient with a pinguecula or a pterygium, that's going to squish down on that area and it's gonna cause that white area that we're really familiar with as far as scleral lens compression goes. The way to alleviate that is to increase the scleral toricity or you can incorporate some sort of a micro vault. You can even notch around it so that you're actually creating a piece that, that is not even touching that area. Or you can use special technology like 3D scanning. There's different companies that offer this technology where you can do a 3D map of the eye and then create a scleral lens that's very custom. And then there's also impression technology where you actually take a mold of the eye, the lab uses that information to create a 3D impression and scans it and then creates a perfectly fit scleral lens for that particular patient. In my practice in Las Vegas, I would say 80% of all the scleral lens fittings we do now incorporate this type of advanced technology because some of the more foundation or basic scleral lenses just weren't cutting it. It was taking us so long to get to the end result. But now that we know why, we know that it's probably related to the scleral toricity and the amount of irregularity of the shape of the sclera, now we know that if we incorporate some of these technologies that help us kind of 3D map the eye or give us more information, that can create a more custom lens. Hope you found that helpful. We've got tons of videos on scleral lenses on WooU. So if you visit wuu.org on past events, lots of information on scleral lenses. We even did a six hour scleral lens soiree last year, which had lots of incredible information on how to fit scleral lenses to troubleshooting and really everything in between. We will also be offering that again, hopefully on an annual basis. And scleral lenses are just such a popular and hot topic that we always have a lot of events coming up that have this as the topic. So make sure to register for an upcoming event and we'll see you next time. Bye.